Zijn met een half procent of 50 procent scoren. Dag na de wedstrijd die Villen net vorige week uitzond tegen Orlando, spelen ze tegen de Atlanta Hawks. Op zaterdag 25 maart was dat. Michael Jordan, u krijgt straks de cijfers te zien. Maar genuut u van de beelden. Als van ouds. Draaien, springen, dunken, assist, fake passes, alles doet hij weer. En nog blij. New York was de volgende waar ze heen gingen. Op dinsdag 28 maart. Een drie punten. Heerlijk. Heel Amerika zat op zijn kop. Wat zal er weer verdiend worden? Shirtjes met nummer 45 moeten er gekocht worden. Nog een maandje en u ziet ze in Nederland ook lopen. Hoogst waarschijnlijk alweer. Op de bal, John Starks. Schitterende paas. Bill Wellington, hier zitten de cijfers. Tegen Atlanta, 32 punten, 4 rebounds, 2 assists. Geen 3 punten geschoten. Tegen de New York Knicks, 55 punten, 4 rebounds, 2 assists, 3 punten, 3 uit 4. Boston Celtics, 23 punten, 11 rebounds en 6 assists. whom have tasted that final four pie already and have gone on to dessert in the form of the big bucks of the pros. Saturday night, all eyes on Chicago, where Michael Jordan and the Bulls, ha, ah, hosted the Philadelphia 76ers. We'll go to the United Center, Bulls in the white, and feast your eyes on this play. Tony Kukoc, full court alley-oop. Get a hold of yourself, Scottie Pippen. What a play. There's also a guy named Michael who can fire up the crowd. Vintage Jordan here on the break. Watch him go straight to the hole. Not a vintage night on the score sheet, though. Jordan just 12 points, but no matter. Pippen had 18. B.J. Armstrong, whose two points here were part of five points in a crucial fourth quarter stretch. Tony, Tony, Tony added 15. Chicago over Philly, 91-84. Numbers, please. NBA scoreboard. Lamont Murray had 26 points as the Clippers... In the NBA, Michael Madness reigns supreme with a truly Jordan-esque outing. On a given night, I've always been able to get myself going, and, and you know, that's just the cal caliber of play I play at. The Rockets' dreams have turned into nightmares. What's the steps? Mr. Jordan's I'm Back Tour continues to stir Chicago wins into a frenzy. Seven games after coming out of retirement, Michael Jordan is simply Jordan-esque. A couple of weeks ago, the Bulls were a team hovering around 500. Today, they're creeping up the Eastern Conference standings. Their latest outing, last night, playing host to the struggling Sixers. Let's take a look. Action underneath. Michael on Sean Bradley, and the big fella goes down in a big hurry. Still in the first, 76ers with the miss. Tony Kukoc, the rebound, and the long pass to Scotty Pippen. The slam, yes indeed. Bulls by 12. Crowd knows it. Later, it is Will Purdue with the rebound. He gives to Jordan, who goes dashing down the court. Skies in for the jam. Bulls by 10. But somehow, the Sixers managed to claw back. Clarence Weatherspoon, the nice move. He will rattle it in. And yes, the 76ers would lead by two. Phil Jackson can't believe it, but the Bulls did prevail. Pippen to Steve Kerr to B.J. Armstrong for three. Nothing but net. And the Bulls win again. Final there, 91-84. But it was Tuesday's game at the world's most famous arena that was legendary. It's almost inconceivable that a month ago he was in spring training with the Chicago White Sox. This week in New York and still newly reunited with his former mates, Michael Litt up Broadway. This was a night of immeasurable hysteria. 55 points, including the winning assist, propelling the Bulls to a 113-111 win over the Knicks. Perhaps Steve Kerr said it best. All of a sudden, it's like we have a secret weapon, a nuclear weapon. We have Superman on our team. On a given night, I've always been able to get myself going, and, and you know, that's just the cal caliber of play I play at. And uh, I think that's a good sign to see some of those things come back because, uh, you know, then, you know, I'm finding my rhythm in the game. The last thing I wanted to do was come in, come in and take away the momentum that this team has kind of generated. I mean, and being able to be productive, you know, that, that means a lot. It really motivates me as much as the team, hopefully. It's kind of unfair that, you know, I, I lack 65 games like everybody else, so I, I feel a lot more fresher now and a little bit more hunger than most of the other players, which is good. I like that. <laughs>